Ladies and gentlemen, this is TVP World. You're watching another edition of Military Mind, bringing you news from the front lines. I'm your host, Benjamin Lee. Now, Russia's launched a wave of drone and missile strike against Ukraine overnight as Moscow's troops continue to advance in the Donetsk region. Military sources say that Ukraine's air defense intercepted 7 out of 14 missiles and all 17 Shahar drones launched by Russians last night. The Russian Ministry of Defense, meanwhile, claimed that its forces shot down 87 drones across five regions, including occupied Crimea. In Russia, local authorities reported that a drone strike in the Voronezh region damaged what they called an unused tank at an oil depot. Another attack caused blackouts in the Morozovsky district of the Rostov region, east of Ukraine. Poland responds to Russia's widespread attack on Ukraine by scrambling its jets. Meanwhile, on the front line, Ukraine is on the counteroffensive in the highly contested city of Ovchansk. While the front line is fairly stable, Kyiv's troops are pushing to regain some areas. In the process, they managed to cut off a group of Russian troops hunkered down in the factory. The buildings provide excellent defensive positions, and capturing it might not be an easy task, but Ukraine's been making extensive use of glide bombs like uh, JDAMs to target Russian positions in the city. It appears that Russia lacks the resources it needs to push deeper into the Kharkiv region, but they've started building defense lines about two kilometers behind the front lines in what looks like an effort to defend the position they've already captured. Meanwhile, in the Donetsk region, Russian forces are slowly but steadily moving forward on several stretches of the front. Ukraine has lost some ground in the region of Ochorotene, and this factor of Russian attack is particularly worrying. Considering the close proximity of a vital Ukrainian supply road used to provide resources to troops stationed deeper in the Donetsk region. Overall, the situation remains stable, but the Russian army continues to be on the offensive in the east. The Ukrainian armed forces have been busy, and they've got the numbers to prove it. In the past 24 hours, they've taken out 1,250 Russian invaders. The UAF general staff says that the Russians have lost over half a million soldiers, nearly 8,000 tanks, over 13,000 artillery systems, and more than 15,000 armored combat vehicles. Now, these numbers paint a clear picture. The Ukrainians aren't just holding their ground, they're consistently chipping away at the invading forces. The fight is tough, but the resolve and effectiveness of the UAF is tougher. Next up, the 120mm motor crew from the 3rd separate detachment of the Omega Group is putting in some serious work. And guess what? The Russians are absolutely thrilled by the skill and precision of these special forces. Now, These guys are dropping motors with pinpoint accuracy, and the results are spectacularly devastating for the enemy. So while the Russian invaders might have thought that they were in for a cakewalk, the reality check from Omega has them rethinking their life choices.
And now we've got a fresh clip straight from a subscriber, showing a Russian assault in the Crimea forest in the Luhansk region. The enemy managed to jump into the trenches, but guess what? They couldn't hold their ground. Classic move by the invaders, thinking they could just stroll in and take over. But the Ukrainian defenders had other plans, and don't forget, you can also send in your own content, whether it's photos, videos, or your personal stories from the front line. We're all in this together, and every bit of intel helps. Keep these submissions coming. Let's talk about the latest fiery spectacle, courtesy of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. We've got a smoking Russian Panzer S-1 air defense system completely obliterated by a HIMARS market strike on June 10th in Luhansk. Now, this beauty belonged to the first Russian Special Purpose Air Defense and Missile Defense Army. The strike resulted in two crew members neutralized and another wounded. Да, у него ракеты сработали вон все. Сейчас. Ten years ago, back when the Azov Battalion was just a handful of volunteers, they kicked the Russians out of Mariupol. The cancer of the so-called People's Republic was contained. Ukraine didn't give Russia a chance to carve a corridor to occupied Crimea. And those volunteers? They proved to be the reliable backbone of the future Ukrainian army. A significant number of these who fought in the battle for Mariupol on June 2014 have since become officers. They formed the core of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade, with some now serving in the Azov Brigade. Ви повинні пам'ятати, що ця війна йде не з 2014 року. Це війна, яка почалася більше тисячі років тому. Мінялися назви нашого ворога, але не мінялася наша назва. Вони були хазарами, печенігами, половцями, Московією, тепер Російською Федерацією. А ми були, є і залишаємось русинами, українцями. And with that footage, we conclude this edition of Military Mind. But for more news, update, and commentary, please stay tuned to TVP World.